Thank you. guys with the sickness going around we have been unable to find until now a drag strip that has been open it's an eighth mile track we're in here at uh, Crossview Crossview in Tennessee and we're here way late I woke up late and it took us forever to get here then we got here and just you know one thing after another but we're gonna try to get at least one or two passes in before they actually shut down the test and tune so where did he say to go to tech in? He said across the bridge. Previous best time was a 93 wastegate. That's what we're gonna try to do today. We might turn it up, but wastegate. But the difference now is that we have E85, but the best time before was like a 65, 1560 foot at 113 mile an hour in the eighth. So we're gonna try to keep it around the same just for testing purposes and hopefully, you know, things will, will uh, improve. That's the, uh, the whole point, but. Can we tech in up there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, is this where we're checking in? Oh, it's colored. Th through here, through the gravel? Yeah. Yeah. On the left, you'll see a set of stairs, there'll be a bucket. Just drop it in the bucket. Okay. Uh, we got about 30 minutes. 30 minutes to maybe get a pass or two in. What's up? How you doing? Doing good, brother. Yeah, we got here uh, a little late. <laughs> Yeah. The track is sticky. Is it? All right, good. I bought some of these new BMS. Uh, ah, yeah. Oh, I like those. Yeah. I love those wheels. They're cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. Yes. This car looks good, man. Last time, brother, it's hard tire. Oh. I bought a Nitto. Yeah, I didn't. I'm not going to mess around with that. We're going down to 15 pounds. 15 pounds. We'll start with that. Here we go. Do our little pre-flight uh, checks. First run is going to be gate pressure, so let's go ahead and check everything. Play with the gain on 50. We are sitting next to a GT350. I don't know if yeah, it looks like we might actually be right beside each other. Let's see how this goes. Uh, looks like he's a stock tire car, but you never know. Ah, uh, we're not going head to head. That sucks. for a burnout. Wow. Yeah, we spun a lot. Let's do it again. See if we can improve. I stayed in it. I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna like unplug this uh, ABS sensor, I don't like using the line lock. Thank you. It's a 6'6", six, six, 110 mile an hour, so. Okay, all right, not good. Not good at all. Nothing is, <laughs> it's already bad. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Oh, I gotta hurry up and do this. I know. I unplug ABS, so it kicked me out of line lock. Yeah, this rain, oh my God. Why is it doing it? Did we just drive three hours for nothing? Go to drag mode again. We are trying. It was about a three-hour trip up here, but you know this is uh, this, the track seemed like it was pretty decent. I just needed to do a, a, a burnout this time. It kicked me out of line lock, so 
you know that happens it's never been really a problem in the past but i have a habit of just unplugging and just going through the brakes so we're gonna try this time and uh hopefully yield a better result we only have about 10 more minutes so this might be the last pass which is unfortunate but it is what it is Avoid the water box. I just red light. Jesus Christ, that thing is moving. Oh, it went through the brakes. It didn't hold me. But good Lord, that thing is moving. It's probably not going to give me time. Well, it should give me time. Oh, there it is. There's the 6.3. That was a 63. It didn't give me a 60 foot. Oh, how do I know how to improve? It didn't give me a 60. But it's a 63, not bad. So we're getting faster. So it just needed a burnout. That's all it needed was a burnout. And uh, tried to take it up to about 35 RPM, 3,500 RPM on that uh, pass. And it didn't like it. It wanted to go through the brakes. So we're going to try to get it about 3,000. This is a big circle D stall, so we're going to go about 3,000, see if it'll hold me, and uh, go from there. But I think we're going to have to hot lap it, because there's just no time, so we got five minutes. Five more minutes! Oh no, are they going to stop me? Oh, good man. One more pass. One more pass. Ooh, big shout out to whoever he was. That's awesome. Reaction time for today, I could care less about. Today is just about trying to go faster since we have the new valve springs in the car, the new fuel system, we are an E85. All right, this is gonna be the last pass. hold me at 3,000 rpm that's a shame man that sucks that left lane felt fast we did run a 6.3 so we are two tenths faster for everybody that's watching since the last time just switching fuel alone is two tenths faster so that was a 6.7 yeah that was that was noticeably noticeably slower guys that sucks I cannot not get out of my helmet why get me out of this helmet Well, unfortunately, that was it. So, we did come up here. We ran a 6.3 red lit. That's, that's okay. It is what it is. It, the track, it wasn't holding me. And it didn't hold me that last pass either. At, I think it gave way at about 2,900 RPM. I got to go back and look at the footage. But, yeah, that's unfortunate. So, that was a 6.7 pass. We did do a 6.3. That means that we did get faster we did we gained two tenths since the last time we did an eighth mile um so that's really what i wanted to drive up here three hours and just confirm did we get faster on the same boost level the answer is yes absolutely two tenths and just switching fuel so i can't wait to actually be on the quarter mile and turn this up you know and and just seat time seat time seat time is what we need guys we need lots of practice but overall yeah, I'd say that's worth the three hour trip. That's a lot of fun. We're gonna uh, jump out of here, see what's what. Take a look at these time slips. I do wanna show you that real quick. It's at 111 mile an hour. So the mile an hour is down from the last place. We did 113 um, and didn't even run that fast. So well, I don't feel like we are losing the car up top. It's definitely getting, it's, it's hauling. It's definitely a back half car. So I just, I, I don't know. I, 
can make excuses all day, but it is what it is. Um, and then there's our last pass. So the 1760, and that was a 67 in the eighth at 111 mile an hour. So if you pay attention there to the mile an hour, that's still 111 compared to the uh, the other one, which is our fastest is 111. So it definitely back half car, there's lots of speed. You can feel it really pick up. Now, the other thing about these turbos that live underneath of my seat here, um, these twin turbos is they like to be under boost a little bit. So we're on gate pressure, like I said. So they're not really, you know, as happy as they could be. So we want to go back, you know, pending coronavirus stuff and all of that. So we want to go back and reconfirm on another track or come back, make another trip. If uh, you know, this track is still open here in a couple of weeks, or we're actually debating on going to uh, Texas, traveling around, trying to find tracks, trying to find some eighth mile, trying to find some quarter mile tracks and turning the car up and really learning, trying to get the seat time in. Normally you show up to a track and you really want to like go over the car, mess with your tire pressure. I didn't, I did not even get the, to check the, I didn't even adjust like the front tires or anything. We just got out of the car, immediately dropped tire pressure in the rear and uh, left it at that. I didn't have time. We had like 25, 30, 25 minutes to try to get three passes in. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We did get faster just switching to E85 fuel. I'm very happy with the car. Again, we just need more um, preparation when we get to a track. This was just a last minute thing, but uh, it is what it is. So, so they're done? Yeah. I thought that they were like bracket racing. I bet they're done. The weather's probably rolling in. Look at the clouds. Guys, yeah, we did get faster. So crazy. Let me move this monster out of the way. I got to get a good thumbnail from this. I don't have one yet. Chop, 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 chop. I'm going to show you guys this. So I uh, will link this in the description. I don't have any affiliate links to this, but it's pretty cheap. This is going to be your first time using it. I know you get the ones that come with the, the Mustangs and stuff, but this is pretty cool that they sent this to me i'm going to link it all down in the description but this will be our first time using it and it's a tire pressure gauge but check this out look how cool this is comes with its own little baggie and uh yeah odd adu is what it's called so we're going to give this a test put some tire pressure back into these bad boys these bead locks give this a shot see how this thing works the ones that come with the car from the factory for me have always kind of like they've always been a little bit slow so for the price of this, I'm interested to see how well it's going to do. Oh, look at that. So 15 on the dot. There we go. Oh, look how fast it's going. That's moving. That's already a lot faster. It's a lot faster than the, uh, the one that comes with it. So already really impressed. If you guys need one of these, go check out links in description check them out guys uh this will be like my go-to i like how fast it's going we'll use this all season long yeah i'm out of here uh six three yeah so a little faster yeah well if i had more prep and you know just time i think that we would have went faster mile an hour went down the track didn't want to hold me though like normally i could like any other track i can go to like 35 on the stall it was it was letting out at like 2800 rpm but at least we got we got three passes in. we did get faster just gate pressure because last time was six five yeah. on gate this time same same deal e85 two tenths faster so yeah yeah absolutely i'll see you later man yeah he's got a he's got a beautiful uh car so um yeah the second pass it wouldn't hold it wouldn't hold me on the track and uh you know we just had to go so i was sitting there messing with the uh i bled through the brakes a little bit it, it flashed red and i was like well we're gonna go and uh, it did go six three but we were already past the uh the light so i imagine that you know the 60 foot would have been terrible but the car was moving though bad track prep yeah bad prep between the last pass was a six seven and the best pass was a six three both mile and hours were the same yeah, so you think it's just prep? It is what it is. That second pass was moving. It felt so good. Yeah, it was raining a little bit. It was starting to drizzle a little bit. So, the, yeah, it was just bad conditions all around. My helmet is just going crazy back there. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.